Hi guys, it's Jack Flip Seabay here. Hope everyone is well, because um, I certainly am. It's the last day of a holiday, so I thought I would uh, actually show you guys the hotel I'm staying in. Um, it's me and six other mates, um, and we've come here. One's including Chloe as well, so big up Chloe, come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you around the hotel. We're staying in um, Playa Las Americas in Tenerife, and it is lovely weather. If I'm being honest, tan lines are massive, um, and I just don't wanna come home. Um, we're flying home tonight, about 9.30, but you know, I'm, I'm really gonna miss this weather. But let's get into it. The hotel we are staying in is the Park San Diego 3. There's multiple of the hotels, but we're staying in number three. So let me show you. So this is the Park San Diego 3. And this is the hotel me and Chloe have stayed in and some friends. Uh, time to check out now. Checkout's 12 o'clock, so not actually too bad, but I'm gonna check out and I'm gonna show you around the hotel. Hey guys, we're at Park San Diego 3. Doing a little walk around tour of the hotel. So let's get it going. This is the kids area. So if you've got children um, and you're concerned about the pool size, the main pool is massive. You're definitely not gonna be concerned about the pool size for the kids because it's a big one, isn't it? It's huge, yeah, it's a really good pool. So, you know, if you have children, look at that area there. That is uh, amazing. Because play area as well, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> um, then when when you walk around here, huge. yeah, it is. Get all your cafe in there. So if you want your lunch, go in there. Loads of sunbeds. It's going to be even busier throughout the kids' holidays. Um, but Chloe, let's let's come around this way. So this is where you get all your lunch and breakfast, around here. Pizzas and cocktails. This is the bar you can order from, in there, when you're at the pool. And one thing you probably don't know is, this is a shopping centre. So underneath the hotel there's a shopping centre. We'll get to the pool part in a moment. This is where you get your breakfast or your lunch. We had bed and breakfast here. So you can either sit in there or you can sit out here in all of this area here. It is actually very nice. There was seven of us. Um, and we, you know, there's big tables around here, which I'm gonna show you now. Circular tables. And if you just wanna chill out and relax throughout the day. Yeah, like Chloe said, it's like a jungle. <laughs> so you can. You can see our mates around here as well, lurking over there. There they are, lurking. Yeah, it's a very chill out area around here. <laughs> and this is the uh, part of the area where we're sitting at the moment. Okay, so that's where they are. And then when you walk around here, so that's just more area. I don't really like it around here, but it's quite nice. Um, you can see it's very scenic around this kind of hotel. This is the adults only section. I'll take everyone in there in a moment. We'll walk around here. I must say, out of all the hotels I've been in, over the years and stuff like that, <clears throat> for price, this is definitely worth it. Um, you know, we come from the 12th of July, I've been doing the 19th of July, and uh, it costs, what, £725 each? I know it's bed and breakfast, but you don't want to have to have all-inclusive all the time, do you? So It's actually quite nice. Lovely flowers as well. Cleaners. So they've, they've you know, they've proper clued up here. So like, this is the adults only section, all right? It's the silence. If you want to chill out a little bit, you can chill out. One of the videos I have seen, water fountains running in here. Seems like they're probably out of action at the moment. Not sure why, but that's quite a nice touch. This is the, so you can get a massage. And you have all the menus in your room. So look, these are the times it's open. You come here and just book it. Tells you all the prices on there. So if you want a proper massage, where is it? Full facial. 
65 euros. Pretty sure a full body massage when I was looking yesterday was actually 50 euros, so not too bad. If you want to come around here and chill out, read a book, do some work. I know holiday is meant to be chill out, but if you do need to do it, you can. If you want to do some <clears throat> kind of aesthetic book training, you can here. So if you're into that, don't have to worry, there's plenty of that here. Um, pool over here as well is actually chlorine, which is nice. And up there is the gym. I'll show you that now. Let's go around. Yes, yeah, so there's a pool over there, which is nice. Very silent. And then let's go to the gym. Normally I hit the gym quite a lot. Every day after work, but yeah, not wash on holiday. It can't be done. But some people love it, don't they? This is the gym. It's a fully prepped gym, which is nice. You know, you've got all your equipment. Only thing is, it's like a greenhouse in here. Um, with all glass around it, and there's no aircon. So, that is one big off-putting thing. Um, no aircon in the rooms, or no aircon in the gym. So, a bit frustrating. So, coming out of the adult section. Turn right, you've got your toilets. And then you've got all your more rooms up here as well. If I'm being honest, this hotel is lovely. Lovely, lovely hotel. It's a big hotel as well, I must say. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it's very, very nice. It's, it's busy this week. When we first got here, beginning of the week, it wasn't that so busy. But now it's, you know, it's got very busy. I'm closer to the kids' holidays. Kids' holidays break up, I think, in about a week's time. Um, and it's getting even busier. So this is one section of the pool. You wait until you see the next section. But I must say, it is all salt water, so it's a bit frustrating on your eyes. Wait for this car to come by. And we'll go to the next one. So they're very clued up around here. And I must say, the weather is lovely. Gorgeous weather. Gorgeous, gorgeous weather. More section of fake grass there. And the pool is absolutely massive. I'd probably say one of the nicest pools in a hotel I've been to in years. Normally they're like concrete jungles, if you know what I mean. It's a square pool, but this pool is absolutely huge. Um, Park Santiago has many hotels. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six as well. Um, number three and number four here are attached right next to each other. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's cross this bridge. Just before I let you know, so this is the pool. Big pool here. You're not allowed floaties or any ball games on this side, but on the, over the bridge you are, which is a bit frustrating because over the bridge is actually a smaller part. Um, this down here is the no floaties as well, no diving. But, I'll tell you what, this hotel is lovely. Come over the next bridge. And they're here. We've done a big loop. Look at that. Across this bridge. That's the no ball game. No, this is the ball game area. And that's not as well. So lovely. I must say it is about 30 degrees right now. If you're going to Tenerife, don't hear what you're hearing on the news because it is red hot. Red hot. But what we're going to do is now, that's everything reception wise, outside wise. I'm just going to show you where you can go. If you fancy a bit of lunch and you want to go outside the hotel, so you can go just up here. So you follow out. And there's a cafe just on the beachfront. Just up here. You can see today there's a lot of people surfing out here. There's a cafe here, go for lunch. 
and Tenerife isn't the biggest for you know golden sandy beaches but I'll tell you what there's a lot around here so when you come out of the hotel which is just here but it is also a shopping center as well you've got to remember that um, so you get a lot of people walking through um, the way they distinguish it if people are staying there or not is by a blue wristband which is just like just like that if you can see it you come out turn left golden sandy beaches down there turn right keep walking along for about half a mile basically you get veronica strip and all the party area but the beach today is quite choppy a lot of rocks around here so this isn't really one where you really want to be sitting <laughs> um, if you're here for a beach holiday but if you like surfing it's definitely worth coming to this one